Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Rishabh and I'm here again with another video on HTML, CSS and Bootstrap series. Okay, so in this video, we will discuss about navbar and how to implement navbar in our website. Okay, so let's start. So first I search navbar and here you see all the descriptions about navbar appears in this page of Bootstrap 5. Okay, so here you see this is the navbar given by Bootstrap 5 and in this uh, search box is also there and uh, there are different types of navbar that is available on this page and also the html code is already here available so you can copy and just paste it into your website to implement this type of navbar okay so there are different types of navbar it is a search box for forms and here you see buttons and text text messages okay so here you see there are three types of navbar available okay so you can add color to your navbar or also here it is written how you can add colors so it is written bg dark means if you write bg dark means you use the bg class and uh, use that dark element then you will see the dark color and for light you have to use bg light okay so we can copy this from here or you can simply click on this copy button to copy this code and remove this reshav hacks text from the body and now we will paste the code so first i make header so i write header and close this and then in header part we will paste our code so i right click first i zoom out and right click and paste okay the code that we copy from bootstrap 5 website appears here okay so i go to file and first zoom it and uh, here you see i write code and here you see a dot means it is not saved so i save or you can press ctrl s to save this file and when you go to the web page you will see nothing appears like navbar it is the html code so you are thinking why navbar didn't appear in my website because you add the code but uh, the classes in which the properties are given you didn't add okay so we have to add these style sheets in our website okay so we go to download option so the download option is here i click on this button and the page appears of download so here it is written to get the compiled CSS and JavaScript use data scripts. Okay, so we need to download this. I click on download button and it is of 1.30 MB. So I start download and it download very quickly. So I open this and I have WinRAR. That's why it is opening like this. And uh, I go to CSS folder and you see there are various style sheets, scripts and style sheets are available. So you can use these in your website okay so to implement the classes so first i just uh, extract okay to my folder that i have created in d drive so i go to d drive the html and css folder uh, okay wait i don't want uh, all those scripts the style sheets so i just select this only the css min files and uh, bootstrap css min files and extract to a specified folder and then again go to file drive and uh, go to the html and css and uh, navbar and now i create a new folder okay so for creating a new folder you can press ctrl shift n or you can give a backward slash here and uh, you see that two files which we had created are listed here so i click on new folder and uh, a bootstrap folder is created so i just click on ok and it is tracked all these files to my bootstrap folder ok so i close this and then go to the vs code editor and here you will see the bootstrap folder with all the files available that we have selected ok now you just have to add the script file to implement all the classes of bootstrap so i go to head make some space here 
and just give angular bracket and type link href ref and give here dot to access the folder and slash and the folder name and then slash the file name okay and again i type rel and here i type style sheet okay so you have to do this for for giving your code to access the bootstrap style sheets okay so i do this for how many times one two three four five six and seven so i just copy paste or you can press ctrl d to replicate the line so i just have to change this okay so i give forward slash okay and then again i do this very quickly and you need to save the file and now when you open your edge browser you will see navbar appears okay so it is a light navbar and uh, here you see a search box is also available which button color is green okay so i again go to code and here first we can change the color also so i gave a dark color so i type dark bg dark as i previously told you if you want a dark nav bar you have to choose the color dark okay so i type here also nav bar dash dark okay so we again save this file and uh, now i go to edge browser and here you see the nav bar is appearing in dark color okay so here now i change the name i change the name nav bar to dishav hacks so it is my brand name of youtube channel so i type dishav hacks here and uh, now again save the file by going to file save or pressing control s now you will see my name dishav hacks channel name appear here but this functionality doesn't work drop down menu because you didn't added the javascript file okay the scripts okay you didn't link so i go to code and in this folder you have to place all the css files okay and you can make a folder separately of javascript and uh, place all the javascript file in that so i will show you again in the file that we have downloaded the zip file there are lots of css file available for grid uh, for utilities and for reboot the various script files are available style sheets are available so you need to add here okay so i again go to head section and you have to type the link rel style sheets okay so i remove this drop down okay a uh, drop down code is written already so we just need to remove that code so here you see navbar drop down so i just remove this li okay and the link also so i just remove it and then go to file and save okay now i again go to my edge browser edge browser and here you see drop down menu disappears and also i need to change the name of link and uh, disabled okay so i go to the li class so where it is written yeah here just we need to change this link so i remove this and type here about okay and also here you will see action means it is the drop down action so just we need to save the file and see if changes are available in our edge browser or not so here you see about is available so we can reload now here you see about and disabled so we need to make a link like about so i remove this disabled li okay so i just uh, select here and uh, press backspace to remove this and then again i go to file and save and again go to edge browser so here is my edge browser and you see disabled button disappears and here is the search box with green button so now i need another li here 
so we need to place li above ul okay this ul we have to place here so here it is written the drop down code so we don't need so i first select this code and press backspace to remove this now i just select this nav item class and copy and paste it below okay so i click ctrl d to replicate and just change this about to here help okay and then again file go to save option save this file and again go to the edge browser sorry why i open many times the chrome browser so here you see help appears okay so now we can change the color of navbar here it is dark color so we can change the color also so you just need to add here dark navbar dark and bg primary to set it blue color okay because primary is blue as we know so here you see our navbar is looking so awesome so in this way you can give colors and you can give also color codes to change this color okay so now you need to change the color of button because it is set to green so we discuss about more colors in my next video so you can subscribe my channel to stay connected to get these html css and bootstrap videos and watch more videos of mine bye bye thank you